Hello friends and welcome to another makeup video. This look is the one that I wore to the 88 Rising event in LA and I loved it so much I decided to recreate it today and show you guys. You guys know that I've been loving the no foundation look, but for this particular event, I didn't know who I might be running into, you know? I might be seeing DPR or Icon walking around, I don't know. But I know I wanted my skin to look flawless, so I decided to wear foundation today. On to concealer. My skin was behaving pretty well during the 88 Rising event, so I just needed to take care of the under eyes and some redness around the nose, but today I have some blemishes that need to be taken care of. To finish off our base, we are going to set with a powder and I am still making my way through this Too Faced one. On to the most tedious part of the makeup routine, my brows. My Anastasia dip brow is as dry as the Sahara, so I've been using the Inglot Duraline liquid to give the color back its pigment. Sometimes I want my brows to look a little more fleek and sharp, so I just go in with a ColourPop Brow Boss pencil and clean up the edges. Now on to the fun stuff. We're gonna start with this Il Maquillage Trendsetter Eyeshadow Palette. Taking this pinky coral color, we're gonna place it into the crease and blend it upward. Make sure you leave the center of the eyelids empty for the next color we're going to be using. After some beautiful blending, you're going to be going in with a bronzy shimmer shade. This is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, so it is best used with your fingers. Place the color in the empty spot you left on your eyelids and make sure you blend so there's no harsh lines. Next, we're going to create a base for our gel liner. So you're going to want to take that dark purple color in the Trendsetter palette and use a flat shader brush to create kind of a thick smoky wing liner. This is going to give our eyeliner a little bit more dimension and a little bit more of a sultry look. Onto the gel liner, I'm going to be using that eyeshadow liner as a guideline, but I won't be covering it up because I still want the soft edges. The only part that I want real sharp is the flick right at the end. We're going to come back to the eyes, but move on to the cheeks first. Going to do a little bit of bronzing. I love this blush color so much that I don't even care if I go a little heavy handed. I just think it looks beautiful on the skin. This highlight is still one of my absolute favorites. It still surprises me how blinding and shiny it is when I apply it. And I just love this on the nose. On the day of the 88 Rising event, I actually wore lashes because again, I wanted to look my absolute best in case I read it to anybody. <laughs> but today we're just going to go with the trusty combo of my Shiseido eyelash curler and my current favorite, well, my only mascara, <laughs> the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. A lot of favorites in this makeup look. This is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the color Doozy. It is probably one of my top three ColourPop items ever. Yes. This makeup look was already looking super cute, but I wanted a little extra something something, even more something something, so I used Fenty's Diamond Balm. Letter is the finished look along with the hair. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup part. I did the hair with this. This is my new favorite toy now. If you hear the fan, it is because it's a million degrees. I was sweating so hard when I was doing this. Oh my god, this hot tools and hot weather do not mix. Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching and I will take you guys out now. See ya!